this is solving literal equations, and here is an example of a very simple literal equation. Volume equals the length times width times height. That's the volume of a rectangular prism. And I'm going to solve this for h. So in order to do that, I am just going to take so the length times the width times the height equals the volume. So I'm going to divide both sides by the length times the width. Now I have the height equals the volume divided by the length times the width. And so now that formula is now um, a function of h. So if I knew the volume and the length and the width, I could easily find the height. So here is an example from the textbook, number 27 from page, I'm going to say like 130, 130 in that area. And it's giving us the formula for the surface area of a cone, where r is the radius of the circle, and l is the lateral distance, is the distance from the tip of the cone to any point on the circle that is the base of that cone. And you can use this formula to find the surface area of a cone. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this and make it a function of l so that all of the other values are on the right and l is by itself on the left. So in order to start that, I'm going to rewrite this equation this way. And I'm doing this so that, because this is the... I'm allowed to rewrite it this way because of their equal sides. So this way the L is on the left and I kind of like it when the thing I'm solving for is on the left and I have all the other stuff on the right. So now I'm going to start moving things to the right. And the first thing I want to get rid of is the stuff that's being added to the L term. So I'm going to subtract pi r squared from both sides, which will give me pi times r l equals s minus pi r squared. Now I have l being multiplied by a constant and by r. So in order to get l by itself, I'm going to divide by what l is being multiplied by. So now let's clean that up. We'll go to the next slide to simplify that. So here I have when I divide both sides by pi r, l is now by itself on the left and everything else is on the right. But this is not um, as, this could be simplified even further because um, I'm going to divide each term in the numerator by pi r and that's going to make it a little bit simpler and I'll show you why. So s divided by pi r. The numerator and denominator do not have any common factors so that's in simplest form. But when I do this, pi, and in the numerator it's pi r squared, but instead of writing pi r squared, I'm going to write pi times r times r. So I changed r squared to r r, and I'll show you why I'm going to do that. In the denominator, I have pi times r. Now you can see in the numerator and denominator, I have a common factor of pi r. So when I write this in simplest form, the first fraction minus, and what's left over is just r. So now I've solved this equation for l, and I'm going to use that, and I'm going to use the numbers that the book gave to find that lateral distance. So using the values from the book, they, said, they had said that s was 283, and the radius was 5, and we were using 3.14 as an estimate for pi, and by using all those values, I have my final answer is that L equals 13 times 03 units. That's it.